Epaphroditus, Greek, Epaphroditus is a New Testament figure appearing as an envoy of the Philippian and Colossian Church to assist the Apostle Paul Philippians chapter 2 verses 25 to 30. He is regarded as a saint of the Orthodox Church and the Catholic Church, first bishop of Philippi, and of Andriaca. There are at least two ancient towns called Andriaca, one in Thrace and one in Asia Minor, and first bishop of Terracina, Italy. There is little evidence that these were all the same man. Name Epaphroditus appears in the New Testament in the letters to the Philippians 2.25-30, This is a common personal name, being derived from Aphrodite meaning lovely or charming. Moreover, the proper name is found in the papyri with alternative spelling 81-2 BC Epaphroditos, Epaphroditon. The name corresponds to the Latin Venustus equals handsome, and was very common in the Roman period. The name occurs very frequently in inscriptions both Greek and Latin, whether at full length Epaphroditus, or in its contracted form Epaphras. Flavius Josephus describes a man by the name of Epaphroditus who was a man who is a lover of all kind of learning. Its adjectival use is also evident in the papyrus from the late 2nd century AD, during the delightful Te Epaphrodito prefecture of Lartius Memor. Some link Epaphroditus with another proper name in the New Testament, Epaphras, Colossians 1.7, 4.12, Philemon chapter 23, with the suggestion that the latter is a contracted or pet form for the Philippian envoy. However, this is a coincidence with no indication that it is the same person. Biography Epaphroditus was a fellow Christian missionary of St. Paul's and is mentioned only in Philippians 2 verse 25 and 418. Epaphroditus was the delegate of the Christian community at Philippi, sent with their gift to Paul during his first imprisonment at Rome or at Ephesus. Paul, in 2.25, calls him, "...my brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier." The three words are arranged in an ascending scale, common sympathy, common work, common danger and toil and suffering. He is described also as authoritative delegate messenger, but it is used the word apostle apostolos in Philippians chapter 2 verse 25. He was sent also as minister Lytorgos to Paul's need 225, doing for Paul what the Philippian community was unable to do 230. The designation Lytorgos derives from Greek civic use, indicating public servant, often one with financial resources to fulfill his functions, so Epaphroditus may have been not only an official of the Philippian church, but a person of means, able to supplement that community's gift to Paul 418. On his arrival, Epaphroditus devoted himself to the work of Christ both as Paul's attendant and as his assistant in missionary work. So assiduously did he labor that he lost his health, and in the words of Paul, he was ill, and almost died. He recovered, however, and Paul sent him back to Philippi with this letter to quiet the alarm of his friends, who had heard of his serious illness. Paul besought for him that the church should receive him with joy and honor men like him. The biblical commentator William Barclay suggested that Epaphroditus might be the most likely person to be identified with the unnamed arbitrator upon whom Paul called in his epistle to intervene in the scandalous disagreement between church members Eodia and Syntyche. Hippolytus' list of the seventy disciples includes Epaphroditus, Bishop of Andriachi. References Topic. External links http colon slash slash www .santibt. It, Detaglio, 46460